Hello there. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you're calling from. My name is Mike. I'm one of the co-founders here at Waybook, and it's my absolute pleasure, as it is every month, to be going through the Waybook product updates for November 2022. It's been a busy month. It's getting a bit colder here in London, but we are warmed with the energy of speaking to many of you um, uh, fantastic businesses scaling with Waybook. And we cannot wait to show you what we've been up to on our side. Get your thoughts, get your feelings, get your insights uh, into what should be coming next and what you think about what has hit your screens over the last, uh, the last few weeks. So uh, without further ado, what we're going to cover this uh, in this session is uh, the large GIF support or GIF support, depending on what side of that fence you're on, uh, advanced email notification settings. We've also been doing loads of new templates, specifically uh, loads of finance templates and HR policy templates, which I know is massively valuable for so many businesses. We've also got the much anticipated due dates, which is out there in the wild. Um, it's currently in beta, but that is, uh, that's coming to, to all of our accounts very soon. Uh, and if you want, you can get access to that today on request. Um, I just wanted to uh, share a bit more information on the Waybook process experts, which are also out in the wild, a couple of advanced embed options. And then finally, um, we've literally just, I, I'm saying released, We've not yet released it, but that's why you come to these webinars rather than just waiting for our own emails because I always share things that I shouldn't do, but just a little tool that can help you on your journey to centralize your knowledge and organize your business, a little tool called a link book, which I'm really excited to show you. And we'll also share a few other bits that are coming up soon. The first thing, um, which is gift support. Whether you love them or you hate them, they're incredibly useful to have in your waybook. The reason why we've done a bit of work on this in the last month is because actually we know it's so important to not just share text with people, not just dump loads of information on people, but actually to try and make your training, your onboarding, your SOPs as engaging as possible. And we see thousands of businesses on Waybook using gifts in a way to really increase that engagement and also add a bit of personality and flair into your documentation. So what it is, is we've always had uh, gift support, but actually that's always been limited uh, to a certain file size, which actually um, was to increase the speed of, uh, of your Waybook and to make sure that the, the documents are easy to load, easy to read, but we've actually done a lot of optimization around that to make sure you can now have your much larger GIFs within there. So we see people um, sharing screen shares of their business in GIF form, having celebrations of people uh, actually creating whatever SOP or activity or information that you're sharing. And you don't need to do anything within your account in order to maximize that. I'll just jump into a demo account now to show you where it is and what it does. You'll notice here that actually when you're on the edit form in any of your steps, you can of course click this button and head down to insert image. You can also at any point just do a forward slash or backslash. Um, if you do a slash, uh, that will actually open that menu for you and you can just type whatever you're looking for. Um, so here we are typed I am and uh, your images come up. And of course, once you've got the, um, once you've got that, that uploader there, you can just simply insert your images, insert your GIFs. If you've got file attachments, just drag and drop them in. You'll notice that actually you could have selected from a range of options connecting deeply into your file types but you can, of course, and what I personally do is just drag and drop. The next up uh, is email notifications and advanced email notifications. Now, you might have noticed that over the last few months, there's been a, quite a lot of updates into the way that you can communicate both with Waybook and that Waybook can communicate with your team. And with many more features coming out, which you require or are enabled by in enhanced uh, communication with your team. So things like deadlines and due dates on your documents. Yes, we're getting to that soon. And um, of course, you might end up getting some emails that you do or perhaps don't want to have within your inbox. So in order for you to stay focused entirely on the information that you need from Waybook, 
um, you can just head on into your settings and you've got the option of whether or not you want notifications on incomplete documents, whether you want emails when a due date is coming up, whether you want um, the summary emails, whether you want the review notification emails. So the review notification is if one of my team make an edit to the document and push it to me for me to review it. I obviously want that email in order for me to then make an update, make a change, approve it and publish. So now um, instead of just all of them coming to your inbox, whether you like it or not, you can just go in there again on your personal settings page, go over to your notifications and you'll easily be able to tailor the way we speak with you. Next up is policies. Now we know that part of the dream of creating your waybook is having this single source of truth with all of your knowledge, all of your systems, all of your processes, all of your SFEs, all of your policies in one place. But we also know that that doesn't happen overnight. So while it's incredibly easy for you to migrate and import and copy and paste or whatever all of your existing knowledge is, some of that still lives within our heads. So in order to make that easier and enable you to find best practice, we're always adding new templates to the template library, essentially to help you create your waybook faster, um, but also just to make sure that as soon as you get one piece of information in there, that value is continued to be had across your whole business. So in order to leverage that best practice, we're continuing to build out those new templates. And some of the additional templates this month have been focused around financial procedures, both of, believe it or not, finance businesses, but also the financial operations within your business, and also quite a few on HR policies. So I'll actually just jump back into the Waybook dashboard so you can see where that is, because you can actually access this directly from your dash when you're in edit mode. But we've also made these available more publicly um, so you can share and browse that with other people should you wish. So jumping back into that account now, you'll be able to see on the, uh, again, on the, the edit tab, all I need to do is just hit that templates button just there. Now, when I'm in that templates uh, uh, library, I can see all of the core categories. Each of those categories can be filtered by this filter search up here. And the core ones that have been added this month are um, the core HR uh, policies. So you'll see there's heaps of policies in here from how we do employee performance reviews to grievance policies, accessibility policies, um, equal opportunity policies, how we work from home, GDPR, Basically, we're just putting more and more in there. And really, the reason why all of these are going in is to just make it so easy for you to say, do you know what? I didn't even realize that I should have had an anti-discrimination policy. I probably wouldn't have created that or prioritized that, but it is here. So if this is something that you want to embed, you simply go into that, tailor anything you need, and you just click use that template and just choose where in your waybook you want to do it. And with one click, that will then go straight into your document. You can publish it and share that with the rest of the team. Now, as I mentioned, we have also made that more easily accessible both in and outside of Waybook. So if you head on over to waybook.com forward slash templates, then here you'll be able to see just a selection. We've saved some of the, some of the core gold for obviously Waybook internal users, um, but you'll be able to get a sense of what sort of templates are in that library. Um, you can just click on any of those. Uh, so meet the team here, we'll be able to see a bit of information about it and what that template is. Now, of course, from this view, you can't add that straight into your waybook, but it gives you an idea of actually what is involved in your uh, in the templates. If you're looking at, you know, your payroll procedures and you want to get some inspiration, it's just a slightly different view in order for you to be able to see that. So that is, ladies and gentlemen, your policy and uh, templates uh, update for the month. The key thing to remember here is if you're looking for something that's not in the template library, let us know. We have expert policy, expert template writers that are always trying to find the most amount of value they can provide to you. So just any request into customer support and we will get that on the list for you. Next up, um, we have the much anticipated, the incredibly exciting due date feature. Now, this came about because when we were uh, building out Waybook and we were working with lots of different uh, different businesses, 
And you know what, I'm just gonna jump straight in and just show you what it is. Um, once we were building out various different documents, we knew that sometimes somebody creates a document within their waybook and they essentially need to have everybody review that internally by a specific date, or of course, just a subsection of those people. So let's do a specific example of this. I'm on this purpose and background, but say, for example, this purpose and background document is, um, I heard a great example from a Waybook customer the other day. They said that there was an inventory blackout from one of their suppliers. So actually they created a procedure in terms of how to manage any of their customers that were, had ordered a, prod, uh, a product from that specific supplier. So they just created a very quick SOP uh, a kind of core information of how to manage that, how to deal with that. And of course, they then publish that within their waybook. Now, when they publish that, that would, of course, go to everybody that they wanted to from the group structure. But it's hard to know exactly what priority your team should or shouldn't have on that. Whilst everybody would get that email and then come through and review that documentation, um, you can now head into your settings you can turn on your um, due date. So you see this option here, turn on due date and you set a specific due date. So say for example, we know this stock from this supplier is gonna start to run out from the 22nd, which means that we might start to encounter issues from the 21st. Uh, we might actually say the due date of that document is Friday the 18th. Now setting that due date uh, means that that document is now due in eight days. Everybody who has access to that document will now see that on their dashboard and it will be at the top of the incomplete section and it will specifically show the eight days left within due dates. And this is also accompanied by email reminders. So it basically just means you don't need to continue to ask people, remind people to look at stuff. It, it gives you a real strong ability in order to prioritize what people do and don't see. Now, next up, let's just talk briefly about the Waybook process consultants. So one thing we knew, know by working with lots of businesses is that having this knowledge in our heads, in folders, on paper, in Dropbox, in Google Drive um, is amazing, but is really difficult. And we obviously want to kind of condense all of this in. So whilst it's very easy to pull all of that information in, sometimes we don't always have all of the answers or quite simply, we don't have all of the time in order to create that waybook. So what we do in order to make sure that it's very easy for you to both create, organize, standardize your business, um, you can now work with a waybook process consultant. A Waybook process consultant is a separate service to the Waybook software, but these people work internally within Waybook and literally just spend all day, every day, working with businesses like yours to help structure the perfect Waybook. And identify what your business goals are, what is the optimal level of documentation of knowledge in order to centralize, and then we'll simply, through a series of interviews with you, with your team, pulling the existing knowledge and information and leveraging the templates and the best practice will just create you your personalized, customized business playbook within Waybook and then hand that back over to you. So this is something that we started doing with a few businesses uh, about six months ago, and it's just exploded in terms of demand from people creating their Waybook. Um, so all of that is available for you. If you are interested in that, please do let us know. Um, we actually have a bit of a wait list for uh, process consultants, but we're always uh, having increasing availability. So just contact support and we'll see how we can support you in that. Next up, we have additional embed options. Now, you know, if you've seen these before, we're always adding new ways in order for you to essentially have the single source of truth. So sometimes we want knowledge or um, tools or different bits to live in different places. Um, but in order for you to have the power of a single source of truth, our mission is to make sure you can always either embed, integrate, insert that different piece of information into your waybook. So over the last uh, month, we've continued to add new inbound options. One of them worth pointing out is Dropler. So if you're using that for your screenshots, using that for your screen recordings, that's now directly integrated with Waybook and also lots of other different improved embed and attachment support within your Waybook as well. 
Now, as with all of the new features um, from the embed option side, that will automatically be available in your account. And the other thing to bear in mind is if you're ever looking for a specific embed or you're looking to integrate Wavebook with any other tool in any particular way, uh, chances are you can already do it. But if not, let us know because we'd love to continue to build out the integrations and embed options that Wavebook provides for you. Now, that brings us basically to the end. What an absolute whistle-stop tour. But I did promise you that I'm going to share with you something that hasn't yet been released, but I'm particularly excited about. Uh, and that is, of course, Linkbook. Now, to show you that, I'm just going to jump into another screen once again. But the reason why we've, we've built this over the last couple of months is because we truly believe that in order for us to gain massive business efficiencies, to empower our team, to actually make sure that we're being consistent and can focus on growth, the most important thing is to ensure that our whole team is on the same page. That is the reason why Waybook exists, to remove those repetitive questions, remove the time of onboarding team members, getting people up to value. And of course, for us as managers, making sure that we don't have those repetitive questions where people don't have access to the information. Now, of course, the Waybook is the answer for that. Having everything centralized, structured, documented is a really easy way to solve all of that. But we also know that sometimes people have the requirement to have a, you know, a, a comprehensive bookmark bar or make sure that they've got all of their content that's linking out to another form in one page. So, so we've actually created another tool that's entirely free called Linkbook. Um, and you'll be able to see here, this is an example of Autumn Coffee Company. Um, and what, they, what Waybook enables you to do is to create one single page that basically has the groups of all of your essential links. So of course, Waybook is the answer for this because you've got the actual knowledge in there. But if, for example, you wanted to have a separate, a separate screen, a separate bookmark, one link for all of your team, to have access to all of your essential links and resources, Linkbook is the way to go. Um, so you'll see here that we've got the different communication group with all of the core parts of communicating. We've got the competitors. Uh, we've got our design and marketing. We've got development tools. And all of these are just simply links that will then go directly out to whatever link that is. <laughs> Now, this is entirely optimized for all of your different uh, devices. So if I drag that down there, you'll have a sense of what it looks like on your mobile. Um, and you'll be able to actually also create your, your link book really easily, add your name, customize the colors. And you'll see here that it's really easy to just add new links, uh, add new groups. And of course, like in Waybook, drag and drop absolutely everything to make it really easy to edit and amend. So we'll notify you uh, when uh, when that's open, but you can actually create your own uh, link book immediately by going to linkbook.waybook.com forward slash create, and you'll be able to then create your, your uh, link book for free. Now, heading back into what's next within Waybook. Now, Waybook is, of course, uh, continuing to, to, to grow and adapt with your business needs. The last thing I wanted to just share is that the document verification, which we announced last month, is still in beta. It's being used by lots of businesses within uh, uh, on Waybook Pro who are loving it. If you want access to that, please do let us know. The next things that are coming up for you to be aware of over the next coming months are um, enhancements to our revision tracking. So many of you will know that you'll be able to compare your current document against all the previous versions of it. And we're continuing to enhance that to make sure it's easier for you to track changes, for you to be able to compare different documents and make sure you always know what's happening and when. The other thing we're also working on in the coming months is in document commenting. Now this has been requested from some Waybook users and we think it's an amazing thing. So obviously when you're creating your documentation, this becomes a living, breathing representation of our organization's knowledge. So having the ability to comment on those documents, share them with other people as you change and grow will soon be within your Waybook. We also are starting to work on an improved dashboard. And the dashboard view is essentially what you see here. So when you land within your Waybook, you're directly navigated to your overall percentage. Your readers are motivated to complete the documents that have been assigned to them that they haven't yet completed. You can go into what's recently viewed, bookmarks, and everything else. 
However, we're always looking to optimize this experience for you, making sure it's easier for you to manage your content and for your readers to get access to that information as quickly as possible. We're at the very beginning of that project. So if you have any thoughts, any opinions, any requests, please do let us know. In addition to that, there's so much more. And you know I love to share things that I'm not supposed to, but I feel like I've pushed it about as much as I could already today. So that brings us to the very end of our brief product update for November. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, you can, of course, get in touch uh, either on the chat right now, in the Q&A section right now. I'll keep my eye out as we're, uh, as we're closing off this call. But after the session, you can also get in touch with customer support, um, either on email, on in-app chat within your Waybook, um, or any other, any other mediums. You know where we are. But I'd like to thank you all so much for coming. Uh, we cannot wait to continue building Waybook to help you build your businesses and really focus on the mission of getting your business on the same page so we can enjoy scaling our business much more efficiently. I hope you have an amazing month and I really look forward to seeing you in December. Have a great one.